federal government heads to Supreme Court, reps consider bill to back states. Greetings to you all. Hope you are doing great in our respective locations. Thank God it's yet another Friday. To all my subscribers and yet to be subscribers, I used to think communication was the key until I realized comprehension is. You can communicate all you want with someone, but if they don't understand you, it's a silent chaos. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. As more reactions trade the controversy over the collection of value-added tax VAT, the federal government has moved to find a permanent resolution to the disputes by approaching the Supreme Court on its final determination. Why it insisted yesterday that the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, will continue to collect the tax. Following the ruling of the Court of Appeal on the matter two weeks ago, ordering parties to the VAT dispute to maintain status quo anti delum the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, told the news agency of Nigerian Noun in New York that the ruling favored FIRS. He said it was FIRS that had been collecting the VAT before the dispute arose over which the River State government approached the High Court. The position of not only the federal government but indeed the judiciary is the fact that status quo associated with the collection of VAT should be maintained, Malami said. It will be recorded that the River State government had urged the Supreme Court to set aside the Court of Appeals September 10th ruling. A three-member panel of the Court of Appeal, headed by Aruna Samani, issued the order being challenged by the River State Government. The state also urged the Apex Court to disband the panel of the Appellate Court, which gave the interim order an order another one to be constituted to hear the case. But one thing of interest is the fact that the federal government had indeed taken cognizance of the fact that where there exists a dispute between a state and the federal government, it is the Supreme Court that should naturally have the jurisdiction to determine the dispute. And we are taking steps to consider the possibility of instituting an action before the Supreme Court for the purpose of having this matter determined once and for all, Malami said. It, however, emerged yesterday that the House of Representatives is considering a legislation that will back states to collect facts and as well control the resources domiciled in their place. The bill is titled An Act to Alter 39 Part 1 of the Second Schedule of the 1999 Constitution as amended to substitute and move the item from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent legislative list, which is so co-sponsored by Hassan Osman Sokodabo and John Dyke. In a document signed by the Guardian, the bill stipulates that the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, is hereby altered as set out in the Item 39, Part 1 of the Second Schedule of the Principal Act. Altered by substituting the item and moving it from the exclusive legislative list to the concurrent list. Thus, Item 39, Part 1 of the Second Schedule of the Constitution to be moved to the concurrent legislative list, not to read state government shall manage their resources, mines and minerals, including oil feeds, oil mining, value-added tax, geological surveys, as well as natural gas. 
50% of the total revenue accurable from the minerals shall be, re shall be retained by the state where the minerals are derived. 30% shall be credited to the distributable pool account, while the remaining 20% shall be credited to the federation account. This development is set to obtain the apricot as it will further strengthen the states in its dispute with the federal government already being spearheaded by rivers and lagos as the controversy rages with court litigations a source confided in the guardian that governors in support of states collecting the revenue are behind the latest move by lawmakers to back the states of course the governors have representatives at the National Assembly. So what is wrong with them asking their lawmakers to back them up in their quest for self-sustainability? A source who craved anonymity said last night. Allaying fears of some state governors, the Lagos state government has assured that collection of VAT by the state will not impoverish other states in the federation and make collection cumbersome but that the ongoing legal dispute was about instituting true fiscal federalism the commissioner for information and strategy mr benga omotoso said this while speaking on tvc's current affairs program your view he said lagos had solid case in the ongoing legal dispute concerning vast collection between the federal and state government. The commissioner, while noting that the crux of the disagreement was about equity, justice, and fairness, expressed hope that it would also enrich the country's jurisprudence and enhance the way citizens see and relate with the law. Meanwhile, the House of Representatives yesterday expressed its readiness to consider the 5% profit share of oil firms to be allocated to host communities in the oil-rich Niger Delta region. Spokesperson of the House, Mr. Benjamin Carlo, dropped the hint while briefing reporters at the National Assembly yesterday. It disclosed that the House would surely accommodate the demand of aggrieved stakeholders in the Petroleum Industry Act amendment bill being considered by the National Assembly. Recall that the Senate endorsement of 3% profit share of oil firms to be allocated to the host communities scared through the conference community reports as against the 5% agreed upon by the House of Representatives in the Petroleum Industry Bill signed into law by President Muhammad Buhari earlier in the year. This is as the governor of Aqua Imbom State, Udom Emmanuel, yesterday called on the federal government to reveal the PIA to reflect the demands of oil producing communities in the country. He urged the government to increase the 3% oil companies' operating expenses approved for host communities by the law to 5%. Why the law gives 3% of NMPC's operating expenses to the oil producing communities. It approves the deployment of 30% of the organization's profits into oil prospecting. Though the government has explained that what would go into the host communities could be more than the current budget of the Niger Data Development Commission and the DC. Opinion leaders in the South South are sad with the development. Governor Emmanuel expressed hope that the federal government would allow the wish of the communities to prevail in the act. It hurts so badly, and there is a whole lot of agitation down here. Our people are not happy. I must let the whole world know that he said. Buhari had requested an amendment to the act in a letter read at the senate plenary on tuesday but the amendment the president sought did not capture the community's agitations but please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel
thank you. Honestly, it would have been better for all these oil producing communities with the help of their governors observe one month lockdown. And with this, the presidency will desist from injustice meted on these communities that helped Nigeria to survive. There is a lot of atrocities from this presidency against oil host communities, especially from the Minister for Justice and Atrocities General of the Federation, AGF. And why not states collect tasks instead of federal government? It is ideal for economic growth as it will set every sitting government on their heels. For all I know, the federal government should stop wasting time that belongs to state government. Let them drop this show of shame and do the needful with nothing to show for the borrowed or extorted funds in terms of relief or development project. This is the worst of all the past government, a government of e-lock. At this point in time, it is, it is only the judiciary that can save this country from the mess that the Buhari-led administration has led us to, because nobody or organization is immune to the verdict of history. Therefore, the, ju the judiciary should live above board beside Tanko Mohammed, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, should protect its integrity. It should not allow this administration to dent its image. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please, if it's your first time here, click on the notification button for more updates. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.